Hey everyone, it's Rek here and inside of this video, I will show you how to optimize windows for gaming and performance with a utility that makes it so much easier to tweak the windows. Whether you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11 or even a pizza, it's going to help you achieve much better performance by boosting your FPS inside of the games that you play and lowering the overall system input latency. You should be able to measure and feel a significant increase in windows performance after using this utility. So without any further ado, oh wait. Actually follow me on insta at requestagan cause imma try to post some interesting stuff there and you can contact me there as well. So now without any further ado, let's dive straight into this video. So the utility that I'm talking about is actually made by Chris Titus and it's called the ultimate windows utility. And all you need to do is go ahead and copy this command. You can go on to this website using the link in the description. So go on here, copy this command, go ahead and click on copy. Then open up the start menu and search for power share then what you need to do is under the apps right click on it and run it as administrator just make sure that you do it as admin otherwise it won't work once you're here you can go ahead and right click or press the ctrl v to paste the command and then press enter to run it what this does is actually download and install the utility and as you guys can already see it's opening up here and what we're going to be doing is first we are inside of the install tab now here you can install a bunch of things that you might need for example the brave browser google chrome and google chromium firefox Fox, LibreFox and all that good stuff. Then they're under the communications, they're Discord, Skype. I don't know why that is there, but Microsoft Teams, well, that's there too. Zoom and Hexchat, Matrix, it's all there. Then under the development, you can go ahead and download the GitHub desktop and Oracle Java 18, VS Code and Python 3, all the good stuff for documents, maybe something like Notepad++ or other things that you might need. There are also the Epic Game Launcher, the GOG Galaxy and the Steam under the games option if you want to quickly install one of those or any of the multimedia and then there are a lot of utilities some of which are very useful such as the 7-zip the cpu z even the anydesk the gpu z everything search and rufus team viewer it's all just some really important stuff that you might need on a windows that you can go ahead and just install here very easily but what we are more concerned with is actually the tweaks tab so opening that up will open up the essential tweaks as well well as the misc tweaks it also gives you guys the three selections so for example for desktop so these would be the recommended ones for a laptop these would be the recommended ones and for the minimal these would be the recommended ones now i would recommend you to go on with the one that you want for most of the people it should be their desktop or just laptop but for most of you i would just go with the desktop option and all you guys need to do is go ahead and click on the run tweaks and it's going to go ahead and apply all of those tweaks now the reason that that you might see some of these red arrows here is because i have already applied a lot of these tweaks as i keep tweaking my windows so yeah there's nothing to worry about it's just going to go ahead and run all of those tweaks one by one it may take some time but that's completely okay so once everything is finished it's going to show you a message saying that everything is done so just click on okay and you can easily revert all of those tweaks by clicking on here and undo all tweaks that you might have previously applied uh, so that's how really simple and easy it is to tweak the windows using this YouTube utility now moving on to config what this does is actually provides you a bunch of features that you can go ahead and enable or use for the legacy windows for example the hyper virtualization or two three and four it's going to install all of the dotnet frameworks which is actually pretty handy if you are going to be using a clean install also there's things like windows subsystem for linux and the wmp direct play uh, and there's also the reset windows updates and you can also go ahead and access all of these control panel options through here easily for example if i just go ahead and click on the power panel it's going to open up the power options inside of the legacy control panel uh, then there is the updates and what this will do is actually reset all of the updates back to how your windows came so what this one will do is as it says it will delay the feature updates by two years and will install the security updates four days after release uh, this one is also recommended and then there is the disable all updates which says not recommended but to be honest for most of you guys if you are uh, very careful and don't care that much about security i mean well you do care but you are very cautious and you don't access websites that might be potentially harmful then i would highly recommend you just for the simply performance purposes is just go ahead and disable all updates 
that's what I have always recommended in all of my videos and I will stick by it unless you make a stupid mistake. So that was the update section, we have already been through all of the config settings, the tweaks and the installs as well. So yeah that's basically a quick guide on how you can really optimize your windows quick and easy without having much knowledge, just following what I've shown you and you should be really good to go. However if you want to go ahead and increase performance in Fortnite then click on this video or if you actually have a life and you play Valorant then go ahead and check out this video it should really help you gain more fps and performance and with that said i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome